Hi guys, it's me, Matt, the Magman, talking to you today about 2D shapes and their names. This is super useful if you're perhaps in year one or year two and you're revisiting your shapes and what they're called. So I've got some of my favorite shapes here. I mean, this is possibly the most recognizable shape you can come across. What is it? It's a circle. Of course it is, a circle. It's got literally one side that goes all the way around. The circle. How's about this one? Of course we know what this is. It is a square. The square has four equal sides. You see, each side is perfectly equal with the other one. How's about we approach a triangle? Yes, we like the triangle. King of pointy things. Three equal sides. A triangle. Mm, we like that. How's about... Ah, yes, this one always stumps people. What's this? Because it looks like a square, but slightly longer. It's got four sides, but two of the sides are slightly longer. So it's got two long sides, two short sides. This is a rectangle. Can you tangle with a rectangle? It's a good question to ask. Um, oh, let's try and trick you now. This one here, it's got one, two, three, four, five sides. This is indeed the pentagon. Oh, a humble shape. The pentagon, five sides. I like that one a lot. Uh, now this one, this is really going to trick you because it looks a little bit like a pentagon, doesn't it? They both look quite similar. This one though has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Six equal sides. This is a hexagon. The six-sided shape of mystery. The hexagon. That one. We have, oh, this one's really good. This I particularly like. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. And a bit like an octopus that has eight legs. This eight-sided shape is called an octagon. An octagon. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Very octopusy. An octagon. We have, oh, a particularly good one. The, well, depends how you pronounce this, trapezoid. Or if you're feeling very posh, you can call it a trapezoid. But it's entirely up to you. Yes, the trapezoid. It has one, two, three, four sides. One of them is slightly longer and the other three are equal. And it kind of looks like the roof of a house, I often think. The trapezoid. <laughs> Last but not least, the much maligned and slightly wonky looking rhombus. Now you can call this a diamond as well if you like, because it looks like a diamond. Or perhaps it could be a parallelogram, which it is indeed a parallelogram. But this particular shape is a rhombus. I always think it looks like a shed that's slightly leaning on its side. It's like it's been blown over in the wind. So there we are, chaps. There are your two-dimensional shapes and their names. Good for, the, good for the memory to remember those. Yes. Anywho, stay safe. Wash your hands. Keep watching. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Ta-da!